What is up, everyone? It is me, J-Rod, the filmmaker, former film major, frequent fighting gamer from Philadelphia, and this week is another amazing week where I get to combine my love of fighting games with my love of film. Because we got another trailer for another fighting game turned film. I mean, technically, it's like a comic book turned film turn fighting game turn back into a film something like that because we are talking about the injustice animated movie if you didn't know that this was coming then get out from under that rock that you are living in because yes there's an injustice animated movie coming from warner brothers animation um hopefully you know involved with nether realm studios the creators of the injustice game and yeah if you guys don't know like You've seen me make a lot of videos for Mortal Kombat 11, but if you want me to go all the way back, the only reason I got into Mortal Kombat 11 is because the first NetherRealm fighting game I ever played, well, the first one was actually Mortal Kombat versus DC. Didn't own it, but I knew someone who did, played a couple uh, games of that. The first one that I owned myself was Injustice 1, Injustice Gods Among Us. I played the demo, then I finally bought the game, got all the DLC characters, I sucked at the game, so then when Injustice 2 came out, it encouraged me to, you know, be there right in the beginning of the life cycle to really grind the game, learn how to play the characters, and just because of my love of both of those two Injustice games, I decided that when Mortal Kombat 11 came out, that yeah, I would check this game out too. And Well, actually, I checked out Mortal Kombat X after Injustice 2, then I checked out Mortal Kombat 11, and very recently I just bought Mortal Kombat 9 on Steam. So yeah, I now own all of the Mortal Kombat slash Injustice NetherRealm Studios era games, and I will even be looking into getting some of the classic Midway games, the 3D era games, stuff like that. So yeah, that was a long-winded story just to say that, I, you know, Injustice is what really got me into fighting games, specifically NetherRealm games. And the fact that they are making an Injustice movie is like, come on, it's it's an easy layup. I Of course we want that. Of course I want to see an Injustice movie. I love the DC animated movies. I love Injustice. It's a great story. It's kind of off the wall. So yeah, why wouldn't I love this? And guys, I, you should already know because you clicked on the video, you've seen the title. This is a first and final. So I am right now, I'm about to record my first reactions to this Injustice movie. Then I will save that reaction and hold on to it dearly all the way until this movie actually comes out. Then I'll give my final review and I'll put the two together. So when you're seeing this, stay tuned in this video because you're about to see what my final thoughts are of the entire movie which I will have seen in the future at some point. But yeah, without further ado, let's get right into this. I was actually on IGN this morning looking at Nick All-Star's Brawl gameplay, and it looks sick. I'm still going to be playing this game on the channel for sure, but right on the top of the IGN page is this Injustice animated series trailer. So, without further ado, I'm about to click on it, and let's hope, let's cross our fingers and hope we don't get an ad. Three, two, one. This is rated R, bro. That means there might be a red band trailer coming. All right, let's do it. Imagine meeting this you Lois. Here. Okay. I mean, come on. It's a story that I know. This is but a priority to see it play out. Justice League members, a woman is missing. She's one of ours. Her name is Lois Lane. Lois. Masterpiece. Okay, I don't know who's doing the Joker voice, but Brace yourself. Seems like, you know, everyone we expect wife. is here. You took his unborn child and his city. Why? After all these years, Batsy, you really need reasons from me. I just wonder how far into the first game it'll go. Never be allowed okay. to occur again. We have a lot of characters. Everything the Justice League stands for. That's it. Oh come on! Do we get a date? Come on, come on. Look for it. How are we gonna look for it on Blu-ray and digital DVD if we don't know which date to look for it on? But okay. So we we still don't have a date. I think there was 
an estimated date somewhere. I think on my calendar, I have a date that I think the movie will be released. And we didn't get much in that trailer, but come on, we know where this is going. If you have, well, if you have played Injustice 1 or read the comic books, you know where this is going. If you have not, hey, I'm. what I would say is don't check out any of those story spoilers until this movie comes out, experience it for the first time as a film and see how it does see how it is for you because i remember when i first experienced this story through the uh the, the story mode of injustice gods among us it's it, it goes there it's dark it's different it's uh it's a heavy story there and yeah i feel like this there's no way that this animated movie is not also going to go there it's already rated r it's based on Injustice. I'm just wondering how far into the Injustice story are they going to go? How many people are going to die in this first movie? And are they setting it up for, like, a trilogy? Are they setting it up for a movie and a sequel? Or are we just going to have this one standalone Injustice movie? That's all I want to know. But either way, I am hyped to check it out. Um, I'm just hoping that this is leading up to the next game. I know that there's rumors that NetherRealm is not working on Injustice 3 as their next game. They're focusing on another Mortal Kombat game. Either way, I don't mind, because I do love both of the games, but I would love to play another Injustice game for sure. And it would be great if, you know, they could sync it up with this. Like, maybe we get uh, the Injustice animated film on Blu-ray and DVD, and then very close to that release, we get a, our first reveal trailer at, like, the Game Awards or DC Fandom, which I will be watching just in case we get anything like that. But yeah, I'm just hoping, you know, I'm hoping this movie is great. I hope it does great. I hope we get more Injustice movies and another Injustice 3 game for sure, for sure. But yeah, that's going to be it for this one, guys. Um, check out my Injustice 3 roster wish list check out my reaction to Mortal Kombat Battle of the Realms, which I did get a chance to check out, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. I don't doubt Warner Brothers animation at all, so I feel like, you know, this is going to be another banger. But, instead of doing my outro here, guys, I'm going to pass it off to me in the future, and I'm going to tell you guys what I really think about the full movie. Imagine if it's just a completely, you know, 180 different direction, but it's possible. So, I'll pass it off to you, J-Rod, in the future, and... We'll see what my final thoughts are. What's up, guys? It's me, J-Rod, from the future. And not only have I seen the Injustice animated movie, but I have also seen all of the trailers of DC Fandom. I have seen the first two episodes of Young Justice Phantoms. I was just watching part one of the Batman Long Halloween movie. And I'm going to watch part two later. So I'm right now, currently, I am fully immersed in... DC. And I'm going to admit, I'm. this is not about DC fandom, but I'm going to admit that DC fandom had a lot of bangers. And most of it is going to be stuff that I'm checking out because most of it is going to be coming to HBO Max. They talked about Harley Quinn season three. They talked about the Peacemaker show, the new Aquaman show. They talked about stuff I didn't even know was coming, like the new Bruce Timm uh, Batman animated series. They talked about so many things. There is a new milestone animated film in the works. That was honestly one of the biggest announcements. We already know that there's a live action static movie in the works by Milestone and Michael B. Jordan. But they're also working on a milestone animated film, which the way that the animated films work in the DC Universe, this should come out, you know, a lot faster and earlier than the static live action movie that I'm still waiting for and cannot wait to see. There were a bunch of huge announcements. I'm going to be honest, the Batman, the movie, that trailer looked amazing. I was sleeping kind of because I am honestly tired of watching Batman movies, but that trailer looked really, really good. So I'm a bit, you know, I'm a little bit renewed. There was Aquaman two footage there was shazam two footage there was black adam teaser which is like the film we've been waiting years to get but oh yeah and also finally there were video games there i'm gonna 100 percent check out uh suicide squad kill the justice league and gotham knights i've already decided i'm definitely gonna get those two games maybe i'll get them on xbox but probably on pc 
And then the one game that I wanted to be announced in Justice 3 was not announced. Ed Boon was there, but he was only talking about this in Justice movie. So unfortunately, we don't have that in Justice 3 reveal that I was hoping we got. So I'm going to still um, hold out hope that we get some sort of reveal for a new NRS game at the Game Awards. But, you know, until then, we have no idea. So without further ado, let us, let's get into the review of the Injustice animated movie, what we came here to do. And I'm going to start off with a spoiler-free review, then I'm going to give my spoiler thoughts, and we're going to get up out of here in no time. So starting off with a spoiler-free review, I thought the Injustice animated movie was good. I thought it was great, actually. It was fun to watch. There was a lot of great action scenes, fights. There was a lot of, like, great dialogue scenes as well and interactions between Superman and Wonder Woman, Superman and Batman, different heroes here and there, you know, question, you know, debating where their moral compass might lead them in this different situation. But, um... Yeah, I mean, it was still, it was the Injustice movie I expected it to be, and it still gave me some things that I did not expect. It used some heroes that the normal story did not use. It changed out, you know, the outcome of certain heroes. Some heroes died early. All in all, if you're wondering whether or not, you know, you want to see this uh, Injustice animated movie, I think it's simple. If you liked Injustice 1, Gods Among Us, if you liked, DC animated movies, then check it out. It has like everything you would want from those types of movies. You got a large cast of heroes, you got a large, not really a large cast of villains, but there are a good amount of villains in this movie. You got action, you got politics, you got Superman kind of going crazy. Personally, I have a problem. I love DC and I love basically all of the heroes, but I have a problem relating to Superman. Like I feel like Superman he doesn't do anything that, you know, will cause me to relate to him. He very rarely shows humanity. And even when he does, he shows a type of humanity that has, you know, has nothing to do with me. Like a, a, a sort of privileged humanity, you know, the fact that he's like this most powerful person in the world and he just has to be humble. That is not something at all that I relate to. But in times like this where Superman, you know, really is like, facing desperation, depression, he's sad, he feels like he can't punch his way out of a certain situation. That's when I really start to relate to Superman. And in this Injustice movie, I definitely related to Superman. Not because he decided to be a tyrant and, you know, take matters into his own hands, but more so because he was pretty vulnerable and Joker got him really bad in this Injustice storyline. And the way he deals with it is not the best way, but that's a human experience. That's a human quality to really get hit, really get hit hard, beaten down, downtrodden. And because of that, you start to make the worst decisions thinking you're doing what's best. So yeah, because of that, this Injustice story for me is one of the most relatable Superman stories that I, I think DC has ever done. There are very few that I can relate to like this. But now I'm going to get into spoilers because I'm almost, I've almost spoiled it already. But like I said, um, the first like 10 minutes of this movie, 10 to 15 minutes, they start off exactly how you would expect. If you've played Injustice, uh, God's Among Us story mode, if you read the comics, if you watch the cutscenes on YouTube, something I do all the time, you know exactly what is the inciting incident that gets this whole Injustice universe going. And I like that. I like that it was like, it was beat for beat. It was exactly as expected. And I also liked that as it got closer and closer to the end, that's where it started to change up and take stuff from here, take stuff from there, do stuff different, you know? And I think that was a perfect blend of an old story and a new story. Whereas if you know nothing about Injustice Guys Among Us, you probably still enjoy this. If you know everything about Injustice Guys Among Us, you read every single comic book, you would still enjoy this because there are some different liberties uh, taken. And yeah, I just thought they did a good job. And my biggest question going into it is how do they end this story? How far into Injustice do they go? That was what I was wondering. I know how this story is gonna start, but how are they gonna end it? And I thought the way they ended it was pretty good because it was a self-contained story that could still open itself up to an Injustice 2 and an Injustice 3. And it hit on 
all the beats that we were expecting. It was believable, you know? It wasn't like Superman was angry and he was powerful and he was on top of his game and then one day he was just like no never mind the reason he decided to stop talking to a different version of himself and then finally lois from a different universe i think that was a great motivation to um you know to end and resolve this part of the story i thought there were still some more things that they could have done like i think they could have set up bigger cliffhangers and more bridges to encourage an Injustice 2 and Injustice 3 movie because as long as they make it, I'm going to watch it. You know, I don't know if it's going to be a huge commercial success, but as long as they make it, I am going to check it out. They definitely have one guaranteed fan if they decide to do Injustice 2 and Injustice 3. Also, there were a couple characters in this movie. I paid attention to every single character that popped up on screen, and there were a good amount of characters in this movie that have not been in Injustice 1 and have not been in Injustice 2. And I gotta say that that was deliberate. I gotta think that they did that on purpose. So personally, I think all of these characters are greenlit for Injustice 3. I really tweet a lot about <laughs> movies and TV shows. All right, here we are. So here are all the characters that were in this movie that have not been in either the first or second game that I'm hoping we see in the third game. Hawkman, Mr. Terrific, Captain Adam, Plastic Man, who I, you know, Plastic Man, Killer Croc, and Clayface, and Ra's al Ghul, they're all on my list of characters that I want to see in Injustice 3. They're in my roster wish list. There was also Mirror Master, Huntress, and Calendar Man. We can leave out Calendar Man, but the rest of them I think should come. And there was also Amazo, who actually had a relatively important part in the end of the story, at least in the third act. So personally, we need to see all of those characters, excluding Calendar Man, in the next game. Some of those characters would be amazing, like Clayface. We need Clayface. I would love to mean Clayface in the next game. Um, and some and Plastic Man, you know, I I like Plastic Man. I like characters with that move set. They're goofy and they're campy, but they can also be pretty strong. And actually, Plastic Man even showed that in the film, whereas he used his powers to incapacitate Superman for a couple seconds, but. Uh, yeah, Ra's al Ghul and Mirror Master actually had a really um, important part in the story as well. All of those characters, I think, will make great characters in the next Injustice fighting game, so hopefully they get greenlit. But yeah, I'm just going to wrap it up. That's about it. I don't want to be here too long, as I've said before. But I'm going to say it again. I thought the Injustice animated movie was great, as I do enjoy basically every DC animated movie that I have seen. Um... So yeah, that is going to be about it. It was, you know, coming from my first impression to this final one, I think it, it impressed me a little bit more than I expected. It was not like, oh, movie of the year, crazy, I got to watch it again. It was just a good watch, good one time, good DC animated movie and a good romp. And yeah, if they do Injustice 2 movie, I'll definitely be there. But other than that, it was a great watch, and I encourage all of you guys to go check out, especially if you're fans of DC, NetherRealm fighting games, Injustice, any of that, I think you'll enjoy it. So that is going to be it, guys, for this episode of First and Final. You got my first reaction, you got my final thoughts, and do with that what you will. So guys, like, comment, and subscribe, tell me if you feel me, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Yeah. speak to you soon, because... Maybe I'm about to get beat up by a large robotic spider. That needs a good Attack formation! Not anymore. What you mean? Get over here!